I've gotten enough messages about this that I feel the need to respond. A while back, I got a phone call from someone that I quite honestly had forgotten existed. It was someone from my childhood who had found my telephone number and given me a call on a random Sunday afternoon. They said, Chad, when we were children, I was bullied and you were someone who defended me and stood up for me. And as an adult, I remember and I just called to say thank you. You know, bullying is something that's been around for ages. However, we've seen it rise to a new spotlight in these days. It's no respecter of age, place in life, status, or circumstance. It happens on the playground. It happens in the boardroom. It happens in the home. It happens in the place of worship. It even happens on the internet amongst strangers. Let me say something to you that feel the desire to bully others. You do not have the right to rob someone's life of joy and peace and happiness. And instead of spending your time demonstrating your insecurity, why don't you use your efforts to find the good, the beautiful, and the strong that resides in every person you you meet. You see, the seed you sow in someone else's life will be the fruit that you will one day reap in your own. And if you plant turmoil and pain in the life of another, then you'll receive the same in due season. So be careful with your words, with your thoughts, with your decisions, make better choices and control your actions. Because to the degree that you attempt to demonstrate your superiority over someone that you suppose is beneath you, you will multiply your own image of weakness exponentially. Care enough about yourself and your self-image to be that person that builds others up rather than works to tear them down. If you're a bully, you're hiding weakness from the rest of the world. You're afraid to be seen. Work harder to strengthen yourself. And here's a novel idea for you parents. Maybe it's time to have a heart-to-heart -heart with your baby Hitler. Now let me balance what I'm saying with another thought because no one likes a bully but no one likes a victim either. So those of you who are continually being bullied need to stop demonstrating a lack of strength and fear. And as parents, we have too often fostered this emotional behavior in our children. We've babied them to the point of weakness. Let them scrape their knee. Let them experience punishment. Let them have pain and failure. Let them learn self-assertion and confidence through trial and error. You see, there's two ends of the spectrum, bullies and victims, and both must come to an end. I love y'all. I really do. God bless. And here's a Facebook poke.